Hey, what's up, YouTube? Now that the Electric Jailbreak has been released for iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1, and now that you've jailbroken, you're probably wondering, what are some cool things that I can install after jailbreaking? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over my top 11 list of my top tweaks that are compatible right now with iOS 11.2 all the way up to 11.3.1. But that being said, if you've yet to jailbreak, go ahead and check out our latest video on how to do just that. The jailbreak again supports all devices, iPhones, iPads, that are running iOS 11.2 to 11.3.1. And again, like I said, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite tweaks that are already compatible for this jailbreak. But very quickly, before we begin, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to stay notified on the latest jailbreaking news, updates, releases, and of course, top city of tweaks. All right, without any further ado, let's get into my list. All right, so very first up, we have Anemone. Now, this is one that was created directly from Coolstar, who is one of the developers directly responsible for this jailbreak. And this just lets you install themes over your current icons. As you guys can see, it looks pretty awesome. And swiping to my second page, we have Cylinder, which allows for some custom animations to happen, which is just pretty awesome on the home screen. Alright, next up I wanted to talk about a couple dark themes that I have going on on my dock. I have Noctis XI present as well as over on my widgets pane right here. As you guys can see, all of my widgets are dark and that is with the tweak called Noctis XI. Now continuing on with the dark theme, if I open up my messages right here, this face ID prompt right here, which is a tweak called BioProtect. Now this lets you securely lock down any application by using your face on the iPhone 10 or by using Touch ID on older iPhones. So if I just go ahead and let my iPhone scan my face, and now I can enter my Messages app after it has scanned my face. Now I really like this because you can lock down certain applications without actually having to have Face ID enabled on your device. As you guys can see, when I swipe up right here, no Face ID was required, but then when I select my Messages app, it is now required to go into that. All right, so bringing back to my initial point where I was going with dark theming, we have dark messages for the message application on iOS 11.3.1. As you guys can see, I actually have a pending notification right here. Um, let's go ahead and enter into that. I just got a couple tweets from Coolstar. Now, if I open up my keyboard, we actually have this tweak called Nude Keys, which actually gets rid of the background of each individual key and I think it just looks pretty sweet on the iPhone. And secondly, speaking of notifications, if I go ahead and pull down my notifications bar right here, you can see that all my notifications have colors behind them, and that is with color banners too. As I showed you guys before, we have this awesome animation. Well, I also have this custom layout. Now, I'm happy to report that Boxy 3 actually works on the iPhone 10 and on iOS 11.3.1, and it lets you create a custom layout as well as perfectly align it and I like this tweak a lot better than Iconoclasm because it has that custom menu that you can use force touch or a two finger gesture on the home screen. And again, this was Boxy 3. Now next up we have this tweak called Floaty Dock. It basically brings the iPad style dock to your iPhone. Not only can you add more applications, but it can also show you the latest applications being used. And even when you're in an app, say messages, if I go ahead and show my face again real fast, when I'm here in landscape mode, it lets me bring up my dock right there, or even in portrait, if I scroll up on the left side of it, I can access my dock right there within the messages app, and then can quickly switch to whatever I want to go to next. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys are just a couple things directly within Cydia. I'm happy to report that my two favorite tweaks for Cydia being Flame, which has these custom highlights right here and allows you to export sources and tweak lists as well as batch install sources. That actually works on iOS 11.3.1 as well as this tweak called Swipe for More, which allows you to queue up uninstalling and installing tweaks all at the same time. So those are a couple awesome tweaks for Cydia that get you on your way on installing awesome things. One other thing that I really like to have is a quick and easy way to respring your device. This one is called Pull to Respring, and if you just pull down your Settings app, and again, it looks like I have BioProtect on for Resprings. So I just let it scan my face there. I'm actually going to do that on camera real fast to show you guys. But yeah, as you guys can see, BioProtect is awesome because not only can you lock down applications, but you can lock down certain things from happening, like someone respringing your device. It will need Face ID to authenticate that, basically. So again, I will do this all in one fell swoop now. Anyway guys, just as a couple bonus ones here, a couple related directly to the iPhone 10. We have bar emoji down at the bottom. I've actually tested Fast Unlock X as well as Easy Switcher X to just 
swipe out of applications like that. Again, I have Bazzi at the top, Zen HTML. The only one I really haven't had time to test on my iPhone 6s right here is Lock Plus Pro, but I'm guessing the developer of that tweak is going to be prompt on updating it, and so it should be available pretty much by the time you're probably watching this video. Anyway, guys, that is literally the only one I have yet to test on 11.3.1 right here. Again, this is my test device right here. I've tested all of the tweaks on this device right here within Cydia, and so I know exactly which ones are working. I just had most of the tweaks already installed on this phone right here. This is why I use this one to demonstrate it. Anyway, guys, not to get confused, all of the tweaks that I talked about in today's video are supported on iOS 11.3.1 right now. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video on some of the best things you can install on the brand new iOS 11.3.1 Electra Jailbreak. Again, like and subscribe if you guys want to stay updated on the latest coverage that we release regarding this jailbreak. If any updates come out, if there are any new tweaks that surface that are just absolutely amazing. Again, not all tweaks are supported right now and I will update you as soon as possible with more top tweaks lists as more become compatible with this latest jailbreak. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, let me know down in the comments section what the first tweak that you're going to install is after jailbreaking, and let me know if there's any tweak that you guys found that's not working on this jailbreak just as of yet. Anyway guys, I can't wait to make more videos about this jailbreak, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.